I have read dozens of machine learning papers and I'm starting to get the hang of how to approach studying a paper. This first involves understanding what the goal of reading a specific paper is, because I found there to be about three main reasons, each of which involves slightly different techniques and are an equally important part of doing research. Before we talk about how to really dive deep into a paper, we look at the first reason to read a paper. To stay up to date with the latest breakthroughs and hype. Here you want the highest level understanding. Even if you are a computer vision researcher, you should be aware of the newest and greatest developments of large language models. And I'm not trying to fuel your FOMO, but I think it is important for being able to hold meaningful small talk with other researchers, or ideally get lucky and learn about a new technique that you can apply to your own research. Now, before you get to skimming the new paper, you first need to know about what the newest and hottest publication is. Therefore, I recommend to simply follow Big AI Labs on Twitter, or now called X, and LinkedIn, but also some AI news personalities like Lior S. and Alexa Gordich. Often, when people post about a paper, they give a summary on the main contributions and results. Nevertheless, if you want to give the paper a look yourself, you should start to read the abstract to get a feeling for what the paper is about. The abstract is the most condensed summary of the paper by the authors themselves. It usually already includes their main results. We are better and or more efficient than the other models. But it might be cool to see really how much better and what its main advantages are. If the abstract doesn't highlight the main contributions of the paper, you might need to look for them in the introduction or use AI to learn about AI. There of course already are large language model tools that can assist you with reading a paper. You can, for example, literally ask a completely free tool like the SciSpace Copilot to summarize the paper or list the main contributions, which usually works really well. Remember, we need to know what our goal of reading the paper is. In this case, we simply want a high level understanding of what is happening. So really, AI news personalities on Twitter, LinkedIn, and for a bit delayed updates on YouTube are really, really great. But again, before we get to the reason you probably want to hear the most, we briefly talk about the second reason for reading a paper. Exploring ideas for your own research. What are techniques, datasets, or more efficient implementations that might be interesting for you to adopt? There were about 1000 papers accepted to ICLR alone in 2022, there's absolutely no chance that you can read all of them thoroughly. Besides the hype papers, you will probably want to look at the new ideas and insights in your research domain. And if you really break it down, many papers present one core new idea that often is really simple. For example, if you are working on large language models, the basic idea of contrastive decoding pretty much just says have a powerful and weaker large language model, generate their output logits for the next token and subtract them element-wise for the new output logits. This will yield more diverse results. This process, as you might have thought, involves a lot of exploration, mainly either by simply googling a paper, going through the list of publications of a conference, or even more naturally, by recursively looking at the references made in the paper that you already are reading. Eventually, we of course want to read the abstract and will hopefully find the main idea and its performance improvements, i.e. main results, always keeping in the back of our minds, how can this help me for my research? But since we are in 2023 and onwards, if you don't understand the main idea straight away, you can again ask AI tools to extract main contributions, novelty and results and have it explain concepts in simple terms. In fact, in some cases, we can also directly ask them to compare the new approach to another one. Another thing to look at is the architecture diagram, if there is one of course. This often allows you at a glance to get an overview of the flow of the model or pipeline. If you now feel like this paper with its main idea and results is so fitting to your own research, we finally get to the last reason of reading a paper really getting into the nitty gritty details to potentially integrate it into your own research and build on top of it. Straight up, if there is a video or blog post on this paper, jackpot. In my opinion, it's often best to start with a YouTube video or a blog post and then read the paper. That way you know what to expect and pay most attention to and already have a fundamental understanding. 
the paper lingo is very sophisticated and arguably unnecessarily tough. Now we should look at the paper. Especially if there is no video or blog post, you will need to, if you haven't already, again start with the abstract and then go to the results. If you want to build on top of this paper, it might be very useful to have a look at the dataset that they use for training and evaluation. If available, you might want to use those yourself. Now to the methodology section. To really understand the model, I'd recommend you to start with looking at the model diagram. As mentioned, that will give you a feeling for the flow of data. Afterwards, start reading the text explaining this model. On a fundamental level, a bit oversimplified, deep learning models are just a series of reshaping operations on some matrices or tensors. So if you look at individual blocks of the model, there will be an input with a certain shape and an output with its respective shape. And in the text, there might be some maths formalizing this transformation. I cannot emphasize this enough. You need to always understand how the data dimensions, i.e. its shapes, change. What I love to do is always write down the shapes after each operation and then the final block. If I do this step by step, it isn't as overwhelming as it looks like in the end and helps me tremendously. And here is a pro tip. If there exists code to the paper, download it and step through it with the debugger in VS Code. This means either looking at the author's own implementation referenced in the paper, looking at third-party implementations on papers with code, or, in my opinion even easier, just importing and running a hugging face model and stepping through their very nice implementation. What you are looking for is to match the individual code operations or modules to the model diagram and mouse formulations in the paper. And again, always look at and understand the dimensions of the input and output. Now, when it comes to math formulas, they often look very scary, but mean simple things, especially if you look at the loss function. Very often, the authors will use a common loss, like the negative log likelihood, cost entropy, the mean square error, and so on. But even if they formulate a completely new loss, it's just a mathematical formulation of a human idea. For example, train the discriminator to recognize real images as real and generated images as fake. Then train the generator to produce images so that the discriminator thinks they are real. And rinse and repeat. You can here, yet again, use AI to explain those math formulas. We are really living in fascinating times. Using those different techniques, AI tools, VS Code debugging, looking at paper explanation videos or blogs, looking at the data shapes or dissecting the loss, as well as whenever you find something you don't understand or whenever you have an aha moment, you should always highlight and take your own notes. Of course, there are really difficult papers, very theoretical or mouse heavy ones, or papers at the intersection of AI and science that involve a lot of further domain knowledge. In the end, the solution to really understanding a paper is always the same keep going. If you don't understand an idea in the beginning when reading a paper, don't worry, continue reading and it will probably become clearer. If the paper you are currently reading is not giving enough explanations to reference techniques, go to the paper they reference and read those. Another pro tip I like, for those that are still watching, is to think of what and how researchers might have talked about the ideas during a simple coffee break. I know it might be annoying, but I promise, the beginning is always the hardest. This knowledge that you struggle with building up in the beginning will help you in future go through new papers with a lot less trouble. Again, I promise. So to briefly summarize the actionable tips, pretty much always start with reading the abstract then the results, and then the methodology section. Use other sources like YouTube or blogs. The paper lingo often is very condensed and thus often tough. If there is code, use the VS Code debugger to step through the code and always understand the shapes of input and output. And finally, don't hesitate to use AI tools like the free SciSpace Copilot to help you summarize and extract main contributions, make the language more simple, and even explain some math formulas. On this channel, I will be doing a lot more of those paper explanation videos, like this one right here. I hope that my summaries and explanations make it easier for you to follow along the progress in AI 
And if you don't want to miss future uploads, don't forget to subscribe.